So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Part of the reason I write about technology for a living is because I just couldn't cut it as a coder. Now it's not that I regret my career choice. I definitely don't. But I do regret not learning the art of programming. And it's not because I wanna build apps or games or anything. It's because there's a lot of peripheral skills you pick up. This is the primary reason I want my kid to learn to code. I don't necessarily want him to become an engineer, though certainly wouldn't be upset if he did. Instead, I see coding as a great teaching tool. It's a way to teach cause and effect and problem solving skills. And mastering the logic behind simple routines can even make your kid a better and more convincing communicator. So obviously there's plenty of reason to get your kid into coding. The next question is, how? Well, we've scoured the internet and a few brick and mortar stores for some of the best toys and kits to take your kid from curious toddler to preteen inventor. Cubetto is a great place to start. It's screen free and suitable for children as young as three. It relies on simple color coded blocks to perform basic tasks. Your child just puts them in the control board in the order they want, presses a button, and Cubetto starts moving about. To really make the most of Cubetto though, you're probably going to want the various adventure packs that give you worlds to explore and stories to tell. It's a hands-on tactile introduction to loops, functions, and algorithms. The kid's first coding and robotics kit from Thames and Cosmos isn't terribly different from Cubetto. It comes with its own cute little robot, this one in the shape of an anthropomorphic peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sammy and his kit are a little more complex than Cubetto, which is why it's suggested for children at least four years of age. But that complexity makes it much more flexible. Sammy isn't confined to a playmat or a pre-scripted storybook. In fact, you can even swap out that adorable sandwich body for other pieces to build a mouse that steals cheese or a fire truck that puts out fire. Eventually though, your kid will grow out of all that screen-free business. And of course, it's unavoidable that they will eventually become obsessed with Harry Potter. But don't worry, you can use this to your advantage. This kit from Kano teaches your kids that coding is magic. No, seriously, they build a wand and then using an app, create spells that they perform simply by waving it around and presumably using the right incantation. Once they've mastered the basic concepts behind programming, it's time to graduate to something more serious. Sphero and Little Bits have carved out a name for themselves in the world of STEM toys by combining simplicity and playfulness with a surprising amount of flexibility. While something like the Droid Inventor Kit and the Bolt are appropriate for children as young as eight, they're equally fun for an adult or an adult aged child. And that's a great thing because if you're excited about something, it's more likely your child will be too. And keeping you, the parent, engaged will make you more likely to put effort into the whole teaching your kid to code thing. The Little Bit Kit lets your child build their very own R2-D2 and customize it to their heart's content with pieces that magnetically snap together. Now, I personally own some Little Bit stuff, though not the Droid Inventor Kit specifically, and I can tell you it's insanely fun, flexible, and basically foolproof. Bolt doesn't have a bunch of parts that you can swap in and out, but the Sphero EDU app is a great way to teach kids the basic of computer science using little more than a robot ball with some blinking lights in it. Plus, the app is compatible with basically any device and even works in your browser. Evo from Ozobot isn't much more advanced than Sphero's Bolt from a technical standpoint, but it takes a lot of the skills it teaches as well as those taught by Sammy and combines them into one deceptively powerful robot. You may have noticed there's a lot of robots here. Evo is super tiny and loaded with a ton of sensors, and its unique coding environment, Ozoblocky, is clean, intuitive, and deceptively powerful. Plus, it has several different modes that allow it to grow with your child as they master key concepts. The granddaddy of kid coding kits, though, is Mindstorms. And in many ways, it's still the standard by which most other STEM toys are measured. We definitely recommend it for slightly older children, though. Lego says it's appropriate for ages 10 and up. While Mindstorms is endlessly versatile and can be used to build everything from replicas of the Curiosity rover to robots that solve Rubik's cubes to a chicken nugget vending machine, it's not quite as beginner friendly as Lego's Boost. But once your child masters manipulating something like Little Bits, they may crave even greater creative freedom. The kid who demands complete freedom will definitely appreciate the micro bit. This tiny BBC backed computer fits in the palm of a child's hand. Think of it like a kid-friendly Arduino. It's got buttons and lights, plus Bluetooth, a compass, and an accelerometer. It even has light and temperature sensors. And its unique edge connector allows it to be hooked up to all sorts of accessories. 
With a little bit of patience and creativity, a child can basically bring anything they dream up to life. This particular kit from Tech Will Save Us comes with a bunch of extras for adding strings of lights, battery power, wheels, and more. If your child has kept up the coding habit long enough to outgrow the micro bit, well, then there's a good chance you've got a little engineer or inventor in the making. And even if not, they'll still have learned a ton of valuable skills.